Hi and welcome back to the Dojo Lab Weapons. Today obviously we're going to be in the clan Dojo and it seems the waterfall's finished. Not quite sure where the hell the water's going to though. I don't know whether I'm happy about that being finished or sad because I was... While it was being built I used to hide inside of it and now I can't do that. I could hide on top of it I guess. But it's not as much hiding as it is floating in midair. No. Anyway. <laughs> Today we're going to build the Emblist. Now as far as I can tell this is basically the Ignis but shoots uh, acid. It's basically a, like a poison gas but everybody keeps saying it's acid. I don't know. We haven't used it yet. Now, before before the research for this can be done, you've got to do the research for the acrid, the biggest problem of all with this weapon, apart from the fact it costs 50,000 once it's finished the research in the lab. Again, I won't bother showing you what it costs because, well, it differs from clan size to clan size, which I didn't know previously. Well, it needs a mastery level 8 for this pistol. It's not a dual wielding pistol, it's a single pistol. But it's 50,000, just hit replicate, which I've already done. Then once you've got it, you come into the foundry here, and it's going to take five of the mutagen mass. Which is, it is one more than the... Uh, the dual icks. Dual ickies, as I keep calling them. Because I don't know the name of the damn things. 15,000 salvage again, 1,200 circuits, and one former. Obviously we don't have that, we will in a second. And there's that one former, just magically appeared there. So, click build, 30,000, it's going to take an entire day to build. Which is a, still a bit long, but uh, it's just the mastery level of this, ridiculous. Yay! Done. Claim. Equip. I'm going to have to get around to leveling that pistol up. Now, weirdly enough, this does have a polarity slot. What you can put in there, that's everybody puts different things in, so that doesn't really matter much. It's the Mastery 9, uh, nine Mastery 8 that goes with this that's a bit silly. But 150 damage. That is a that is a lot <laughs> with a magazine of 100. It's the tail hanging off the bottom of it. It's it wiggles round. Uses the same kind of physics as the scoffs do. It just wiggles. This could be a fun weapon to play with. Okay, so played with it for a while, got it to level 9, I've actually raged on it and put it away and used a different weapon. Because I just, I couldn't take it anymore, it was just annoying the hell out of us. All the enemies stopped. God damn it. I have fitted a max ammo mod to it. Uh, it was, I kind of needed it because it eats ammo pretty quickly. But once you get past that... I think without potato in it, once it gets to about 10, you got the ammo mod in there, you can finally fit in the... Oh, hello enemies. You can finally fit in the Hornet Strike, it does become a lot better. As I say, when it was level 9, I was just I was just getting ready to just sell the damn thing, I was sick of it. But, I didn't. I just put it away, used something else, got on with some other stuff I needed to do. Came back to it, put the Hornet Strike on, and all of a sudden it has become a much better weapon. There wasn't an update in between it, so I know they haven't adjusted it. It's just adding the Hornet Strike gave it so much more damage. And it just made it so much nicer. I do want to go up. I thought I might. I mean, it was just really bad, but potato on it would uh, solve that problem pretty early on, if you've got one. 
I've got one building at the minute. I don't know if I'm going to put it in here or not. Because I do have other weapons that I need to put one in a little bit better than this one. Not better weapons, just ones that I want want to do. I want to try anyway. Because I don't potato all my weapons, just the decent ones. But if this thing carries on the way it's going, I might potato it. Damn you flying thing. Just because it it did, it just seems about level 9 or 10. It just kind of became a much, much better weapon. I was, I mean, a mastery level 8, I think, might have been a bit high. Because the acrid with the range to it is, a, at least at the minute, is a better weapon. Because at range, you know, all weapons need a bit of range. If you're going to make a, a really powerful weapon and make it a short range weapon, it's called a shotgun. And they exist. It's called the Bronco Shotgun Pistol. But what I am kind of secretly hoping is that they'll address the range issues with some of these. I mean, they've come out with uh, the Glaive specific mods. I'm hoping they'll come out with one for the, the Spectra. Because most pistols don't need a range mod. Most rifles don't either. So just Flux Rifle specific mods, uh, Spectra specific mods, but make the Spectra ones for range actually fit into this one as well. Same as the Flux Rifle will fit into the Flamethrower. Doesn't have to increase it a lot, just, I mean, that guy was running at us and it still took a few seconds before he ran into it. Well, that seems to be its only downside. Well, that and it being crap until like level 9. But potato it. Probably be decent by about 4 or 5. Uh, it's probably just the way I was doing it. If I started off with the damage mod rather than the ammo mod, it would have probably worked out better. But I started with the ammo mod because this thing is eating ammo. As you can probably tell by the fact that we haven't been going for a few minutes and... We've only been going for a few minutes even, and I'm already halfway through my ammo. Over halfway through my ammo. And I've already used an ammo box. But it is actually a better weapon than I first thought it was, just because it was crap, to be honest. It was one of them weapons where you've got to play with it for a long time before it becomes good. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I don't think I'll potato it yet. I think I'll give it a bit more time. But I mean, as you can see, it is melting people quite nicely now. Which it didn't do before. There you bubble. So I'm actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying it more now than I was when I first started using it. Just because you've got to change the whole game style. You can't run in with a, a light warframe and use it. You need one with a decent bit of armor that can take a fair bit of damage. Because you are going to be getting up into people's faces to use it. And there's the end. But, because we're at the end, we'll call that here for now. As I say, it starts off pretty bad. That That's the standard reload speed. Of having adjusted that reloads really nicely and it, it has turned out to be a really nice weapon and it's only a level 12 it's going to become more and more powerful especially if we stick the hornet strike off the vipers in this oh it'll become invincible then but we'll leave that off here for now thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time